So we've been looking at permutation groups. Uh, last we, we used the geometric example of an equilateral triangle and the, the three operations for, um, or, or the, uh, the six permutations for that group, 0, 1, and 3. Now if we look at the, uh, the intervals, the 12 intervals, um, we can kind of take a look at here. Using a dodecagon, we can arrange them either chromatically, uh, C to D sharp to D and so forth. Uh, this would be indicated as a cyclic group using 1 as the generator element. Now if we uh, look at it the reverse, which is a reflection, um, now we are using 11 as the generator element, which is C, B, using the major seventh. Um, going back, we have the circle of fifths, which was generated by the, uh, the element 7, or the, the perfect fifth. And then the, the inverse element, which is 5, which is the perfect fourth, or the circle of fourths. Uh, now, a permutation group is actually a subgroup of a symmetrical group. So if we if we remember that example of, of the equilateral triangle, I'm not sure they're in the right spots. Okay, so within the group, of course it has to be symmetrical, uh, symmetrically um, spaced. If we look at w uh, where these elements are arranged, it's C, E, and A flat. Now this is really interesting when we look at what these elements are on the piano. That's the augmented chord in root position. Now if we remember the group operations, one rotation, uh, well actually it'd be like this. This is in root position. A single rotation which would be operation alpha. Now to invert a chord, if you uh, recall in, in basic music theory, you take the bottom note and put it on top. So first inversion of the augmented chord um, is essentially the alpha operation for a permutation. Uh, then the second inversion, which is alpha squared. And if you notice, the, uh, the augmented chord is evenly spaced. There, uh, it's a major third stacked on top of a major third, and then if we just invert it, it's again two major thirds on top of each other. So we start to see now the symmetrical relationships both in mathematics uh, seen in abstract algebra and group theory as well as in music theory. So uh, next we'll start to look a little bit more at other types of groups.